All right, Shalom Akim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, out there pushing out this word and truth, sincerity, your brother cannot. And I, I want to do another, I want to do another video today. And the title of the video is going to be somewhere around the lines of true happiness comes when America is destroyed and our enemy and our enemies are under us. You know, because our people, they try to search for uh, many things to, uh, you know, to appease their heart or to, you know, uh, make this captivity as best as possible or or to have as much fun as possible here in, in Babylon. We have to understand that this is a uh, actual punishment. You know, now the Lord is, you know. He is taking the curses off of us. He is putting his spirit uh, uh, upon us. You know, we're no longer. OK, uh, we're no longer those just a, a, a nation full of, you know, dry bones. OK, we're no longer a nation full of dry bones. What is that? Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. We now uh, through the spirit and power. Yahweh Shema Shah, he has put um, he has put his spirit upon us again. You know, we're calling on his name at the same time. You know, uh, scriptures speak about, you know, much wisdom. Let, let's get it. You know, and I'm going to keep I'm going to try to keep this uh, lesson. As quick as possible, just because I don't have a lot of time. Let me uh Ecclesiastes 1 and 18 for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. And this is the reason why a lot of our people they do not want to come to the Lord because you're gonna increase in knowledge, right? And with that knowledge, you're gonna increase in sorrow. Because you can try to find you know different uh, remedies to try to you know uh help your heart, so to speak. Help your mind because the heart and mind, those words, you should already know that they're interconnected. In the Hebrew, the, when you see the word heart, it really, when you look at the word lab, it means mind, you know. So, you know, our people turn to, you know, a woman, you know, they turn to a material good. They turn to another covering, the red Hebrew Edomite. Let me read this. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah, here in Babylon or even wherever you are scattered throughout the world because Babylon's philosophy has, you know, has pretty much encompassed the whole planet Earth. What is that? Uh, let's bring this out real quick. Psalms 34, if I'm not mistaken, no, Psalms 37. Real quick. Yep, this is Psalms 37 and 35. I have seen, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. So wickedness is compass, you know, uh, wickedness is compass the whole earth. This is, uh, so, uh, Isaiah 16, 2, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and grow, gross darkness to people, see? But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. That's that, that spirit that he has uh, now put on us again. You know, the, uh, the remnant, OK, and when you come in this thing, all right, uh, you will not find true happiness. Now, you will have comfort. All right. You can find true happiness in a spirit. And that's going to you know, physically manifest once America is totally destroyed and all our enemies are under us. That's when, you know, we can rest, you know. But right here. Micah 2 and 10 again, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. OK, so wherever you are, you know. You can be in China, you can be in Africa, you can be on a, a, a deserted island. You know, you're not going to find rest. Why? It's because this is not the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven has not been established yet because it is polluted. This whole world is polluted. OK, if you only knew how, you know, polluted our bodies are just just by breathing in air, just by drinking the water. You, you think you're eating healthy eating blueberries and blackberries and dark chocolate from from Brazil, you're eating the finest organic meats. All right, those all, everything is contaminated, okay? Furthermore, we have a contaminated and polluted ruler, okay? The red Hebrew Edomite, starting with the so-called Jew, okay? So you have a po polluted leader, polluted people, the wicked, see? The wicked in great power spread himself like a green bay tree. And let's look at the word, let's look at the uh, green bay tree so you can see. 
that image of the green, a green bay tree. And you see how it, sh it, it, there's the, uh, the stump. And you see how the tree, it just, um, it, uh, you know, it, it blossoms or spreads very wide, you know? And that's, that's basically uh, Esau, you know? That's Esau's power. All right, he, he, his wickedness has spread, you know, uh, throughout the whole planet Earth. See how wide it is? So it encompasses, that's that, that gross darkness. And what do you have? You have a, a shadow under the tree. So this, this is the, the rulership of the so-called white man and his wickedness is spread throughout the whole planet Earth, okay? The Lord said, arise and depart for there is not your rest because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And you see that, you see our people destroyed with a sore destruction. All right, they have a grievous wound that they cannot heal because they uh, they are not in tune with the spirit of Yah Basham Shai, which heals you, okay? Let me uh, let me just start wrapping these things up because you know we're never gonna be at, uh, at you know peace or find true happiness, okay, here in Babylon. All right, you can, you can drink, you know, well, you can't give your heart to the bottle, or you, you, uh, that's against the scriptures. Are you going to be out of it? The scriptures speak about being sober. Okay, you can't give your yourself to many women. A lot, a lot of women. That what are they going to do? They're going to you're going to have to invest your time into a woman. Okay, so you're going to be destroyed. Okay, you can't give yourself into food, to pleasures. Basically, you can't give yourself into uh, you know, your lust, your you know, your pleasures. Which lust? There's nothing wrong with lust. You can lust. After uh, you know, righteous things. If you have a wife, okay, you have a fine wife, you lust after your wife, that's not going off. But here in Babylon, you know, or in this current rulership of the Red Huber Edomite, all right, you can't give into many pleasures. All right. So when we're gonna go give into many pleasures, or when many ple pleasures are gonna present itself, okay, in abundance is in the kingdom of heaven. When uh the Red Huber Edomite and the other nations are under our feet, okay, as uh, servants. Because look how look, look at the current state of the world when you allow heathens to rule, when you allow the wicked to rule. All right, everything's in chaos. People are uprising. People are, are dying of diseases, you know, mass, massive extreme poverty. Give me a second. I'm drinking some green tea, some matcha, which is, uh, is really good in, in theanine. It can help boost up your mood, you know, with the... Uh, uh was it happy horn happy hormones give you a little uh you know kick of caffeine you know even this is polluted okay you have the you have to buy it from a so-called reputable um dealer because people cut it or it's sourced from you know a, a place where pesticides and all type of herbicides were used so here it is you you're drinking tea which green tea is supposed to be the second most consumed beverage in the on the planet earth and it's supposed to be very, uh, have a lot of health benefits, you know, have a lot of different antioxidants. But when you drink it, you're killing yourself. So that's another example of how this place uh, physically is uh, polluted and spiritually is polluted. All right, uh, Esau's, um, Esau and other nations, they're, they're trash, so to speak. Their garbage is all throughout the whole world in the form of their philosophy, okay? This is Psalms 34 and 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. We have many desires, okay? And those desires, a lot of those desires that, you know, I'm like, damn, why do I like this? It's because the Heavenly Father, he put that desire um, inside of us. But you can't exercise that desire in its entirety, okay, here in Babylon, okay? Because you, you'll be uh, out of balance. You'll be out of whack, okay? And everything here is polluted. But if we delight ourselves in the Lord, meaning if we come back to him, you know, without uh, in haste and serve him, all right, he's going to give us the desires of our heart. And what are some of the desires of our heart? Well, let's read some scriptures on, you know, the desires of our heart and what's really going to make us happy as um, black, Hispanic, Native Americans that have returned back into uh, Yahweh Bashima Shai. Because you have some people, oh, why are you guys so angry? Why are you so mad? It's, we're, we're angry and mad because the red Hebrew Edomite is over us and he continues to exercise that power over us by oppressing us, okay? We can't serve our power in our land, okay? We, we, can't, we can't exercise the law, statute, commandments, okay? You have the, the wicked and great power uh, uh, persecuting us. He's doing these things in secret, 
Yeah, that's the reason why we're mad. All right. There's there's a, there's a lot to be mad about. There's a lot to be upset about. OK, in Babylon. It's a whole heap of stuff to be upset about, especially being um, an Israelite that have returned back to the Heavenly Father. OK, because he he um, let's bring out another scripture real quick. We, we read. That when you increase in knowledge, you increase in sorrow. All right. So that means that you people are foolish. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Yeah, we're oppressed. This is a, this is that oppressive, oppressing city, that oppressing and oppressive city. OK, Babylon, who and who who do they primarily oppress or who? Excuse me. Uh, who is their focus of their oppression? OK, you Israelites. Look what's going on in Venezuela. Look what's going on uh, here in, in Babylon with some of these different policies and these different laws that are now being uh, dug up. OK, like uh, laws to where. And there's certain out here in the Bay Area, there's certain uh, areas in the Bay Area like Piedmont, um, Rock Ridge, OK, up in the hills where in the deed itself, you they can't they can. Uh, in the deed itself, they cannot, you know, sell or rent to uh, so-called Negroes, OK, or Hispanics. Th this is this is actually on the law. So this is a this surely is the oppressive city. Surely oppression make up a wise man mad and a gift destroy the heart. See, let's uh, let's go back. So the Lord, He's gonna give us the abundance, you know, of our heart. When, once this this damn devil goes down. So let's read this. Sirach twenty five, and uh, and and seven. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. See that. Kind of highlight this. Okay, so this is what this is pretty much what true happiness is. Because you have, you know, uh, you you can be ha here here in uh, America, or if you're an Israelite that knows this knowledge, one minute one minute you could be happy, one minute you're mad, you're going through a, a emotional roller coaster. Uh, you just you got alert. Your phone bills um late. You're late on your phone bill. All right, you you don't have enough rent. Okay. Are uh, you you go to work, but you don't have enough. OK, you eat, but you're not full. Haggai was at Haggai one and six. OK, and this is uh, pretty much focusing on the, on the Israelites. All right. We're, we're princes. All right. We're we're princes of the Heavenly Father. OK, we're royalty. But now we're um, we're in a state of being that servant. You know, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy in the tenth. I will utter with my tongue a man that has joy of his children. See, and you can't have that here in, in Babylon. OK, your children go to school. They can they now they're being taught transsexual rights, homo homophobic agenda. OK. They might be touched, touched on by uh, one of their school teachers, one of their uh, principal or a nurse. The white woman just got caught. I forget what town it was having sex with multiple uh, students. OK, so your, your child can get touched on in daycare. All different type of things. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. So this is something uh, to be happy, to be elated about. OK, this will give you true happiness. We're going to once we uh, we will experience true happiness once America is totally destroyed. OK. Once America is totally destroyed and our enemies are under us, that's when we're going to find true happiness. OK, not uh, in a bottle, not in uh, hip hop, not in a job. Not in a woman, not in anything physical, okay. And our people, they're they are attached to uh, uh, the physical, okay. This is Mark eight and thirty six. For what shall a man? So what shall a prophet a man if he? You know what? Let's read up verse thirty five. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake. And the gospels, the same shall save it. And this is the reason why we have given up our lives, okay, to uh, push this, push out this word, okay, to sacrifice and push out the word. Because by giving up this polluted life, this polluted world, because really, if you look at it, we have never lived. You have never woke up one, woke up in the morning with stress free. You don't know what that is. One second. OK, 
For what shall a man profit? For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Okay, so what if you gain the whole world? Okay, which this world is filled with what? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Okay, pretty much it's polluted, it's it's, it's full of wickedness. Because here in this society, people will equate money with success and happiness. When you look at the majority of people who have money, they are some of the most miserable people on the planet Earth. Okay, you go to these different third world countries like uh, Jake, Venezuela, okay, uh, Colombia, uh, uh, Haiti. These people are, are better off than uh, you people here in Babylon that are slaving. Yeah, they, they, they are in extreme poverty and, you know, there's certain amenities that they don't have, but they're more at peace with themselves than you here in Babylon. You're chasing after the dollar. You're chasing after designer clothes. You're doing all these things to so-called appease your flesh, you know, when it's just do it's totally destroying you. So if you get if you did all that, but you're going to you're going to lose your soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And this is the reason why we we totally just gave up everything because we, we know that there's nothing here. You, you literally cannot find true happiness here. Right? You always have an element. Something's always on your mind. The depressive red Hebrew Edomites are always trying to oppress you in some form, shape, or fashion. Or right? you can't even go into certain neighborhoods. Okay? You can't even go into certain neighborhoods without the red Hebrew Edomite through his police force uh, 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 attacking you. Okay? You might get shot. All right? Let's, let's, let's wrap it up. Psalms 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. So when our enemy goes down, when Babylon is totally uh, destroyed, that's when we're going to rejoice. And we're rejoicing now because we're seeing the re, uh, the vengeance of, of the Heavenly Father, okay, upon you Edomites. Every news article, especially the camp thread, it'd be lit. It'd be just lit with just articles about Esau just being a demon. You know, him him uh, suffering poverty, him suffering drugs, him getting uh, judged, you know, and that is the vengeance of the heavenly father uh, upon our enemies. And this is what keeps us going. This is part of what keeps us going. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked so that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judges in the earth. Because that one, because now it doesn't seem like he's judging in, in the earth to the blind eye, which we understand uh, every single day, the heavenly father, every morning, his judgment comes to light. Okay, so Jake, all right, the elect of Jake, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, the Lord's will, you know, we be part of that that number, okay. But we're doing what the elect is doing, so we we are deemed the elect, okay. If we what, if we endure into the end, the same shall be saved. The, the Jake is gonna be washing his feet, okay, in the blood of the wicked, in the blood of you red Hebrew Edomites, okay. Get it, get him busy, and that's when you know we're gonna finally be able to rest, you know. Let's bring out uh did I have, I had one more scripture in mind, but let's just bring this scripture out. <sighs> Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. See? And this gives us a uh, peace of mind to know that the Heavenly Father is not going to allow the Red Heap Edomite to destroy us, put us in captivity, kill us with the sword. And we have no voice or we, we're not heard. The Heavenly Father, we are definitely heard. So if you lead a, a people into captivity, you have to go into captivity. If you kill the sword and the red Hebrew Edomite, he has done both of those things. OK, in excess. Here is the patient and the faith of the faith of the saints. So we're patiently waiting to receive uh, true happiness. OK, and that's when America is totally wiped off. OK, the planet Earth, meaning. 200 million missiles from all these different nations started with Russia going to destroy this place. But before that, you're going to have a total breakdown in society. society. OK, and then once that happens, all right, when our Lord comes back simultaneously, when those nuclear missiles are being shot and then we get deemed up, then we're going to go around and start uh, him and all you uh, you Edomites up. OK, you read Edomites and you other nations. And that's when that's when the fun begins. OK, that's when the fun begins. That's when we're going to be we're going to be, we're going to be washing our are our feet in the blood of the wicked, as the scriptures say. Thus said the scriptures. Okay, so you know I hope you brothers will edify with this lesson. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakudash. Till next time, I want to say shalom to the elect, death to the red Hebrew Edomite, and all those who are joining hand with him.